All right, so uh, it's December, Northern California. Uh, Tim and I, my friend Tim and I, back in January, decided we would try to catch a black bass, either a largemouth, a smallmouth, or a spotted bass, at least one out of every month of the year. We started in January at Lake Berryessa, very tough conditions. Uh, Tim got two, I got one, so we were off to a, a start, even though it was very slow. And we fished the narrows and deep uh, deep banks. Our best bank, we caught two fish in one area. It was just a steep bank um, uh, in the narrows. And uh, that was all on drop shot. Caught all our fish there. And then February, we were at Lake Comanche. Again, it was very cold. And we saw a lot of fish, marked a lot of fish around the 34-foot depth range, if I remember correctly. Could not get a bite. And toward the end of the afternoon, we were on a gradually sloping kind of muddy point, um, a, a flat I guess you'd call it, and if we dragged a uh, shaky head very slowly then we would catch some fish. And we, we caught just a few between the two of us. I don't know if that we caught more than three or four or five fish. It wasn't very many, but we caught some fish. March then we were back at Comanche and there we started getting them. The water was starting to warm up a little bit and again uh, they wouldn't bite a drop shot but they would hit a shaky head and they were mostly spotted bass and toward the end of the day in the afternoon the fishing got a lot better and we were getting fish in 8 to 12 feet on long gravel flats uh, the fish that we were catching at least I caught a few up in the river arm but most of them were on these these long flat points and uh, April we went to New Melones and absolutely crushed them uh, they were just moving up to do the pre-spawn thing uh, super windy day, but we were able to, to kind of hide in some places. The wind didn't seem to hurt the bite at all. In fact, it may have made it better. And while it was very rough, um, we caught a lot of fish. And the weird thing was, you would think with high winds, um, spring, like a spinner bait, would just crush them or maybe a crankbait. But it was actually, the only thing they would hit was a drop shot. And so we, we caught all of our fish on drop shot. I'm, I'm not even sure we caught any fish or anything else. We tried other things. Uh, we caught mostly smaller males and a few good females in the shallow water, you know, four to eight feet deep. Um, but the bigger fish, definitely the females, the three pounders, two to, two to four pounders, were um, in 14, 16 feet of water. And on the way back in, the late afternoon, we stopped by a bridge on the way back in and I was throwing a big swim bait, but we marked some fish on the bottom, and Tim put down his drop shot rig, and I think we caught seven fish in 12 minutes. He caught five of them. I, I, I got late to the party, um, but they were they were all females, good sized fish. You know, nothing huge, but two and a half to three and a half pound fish. That was fun. Uh, then in May, um, that's where it, I I don't remember as well. I remember January through April really well. Uh, May. Uh, I honestly don't remember where we fished, uh, but May and then June and July uh, we hit Lake Pardee and uh, we went there because there was less boat traffic and the fishing was pretty good. Uh, drop shot again, that's Tim's favorite way to catch and we caught uh, some on top water, uh, especially in July. Uh, the Whopper Plopper did pretty well there. And then in August we weren't able to go out together, he caught some fish, I went to Pardee again and they were already starting to transition. It was the very last day of August. It was August 31st. And um, the fish had moved out of that 10 to 15 foot depth that they had been at for a while and were hard to get to bite. So I caught a few. Um, drop shot. It was like, it, there wasn't any one thing. I caught one here, one there, kind of junk fishing. Um, caught one on a topwater, caught two or three on a drop shot, and I think I got one on a Sanko, but it was pretty tough. And then September, um, Again, I, I don't know why I can't remember these months uh, as well, but September, uh, October, November were all kind of tough. Um, I know in November uh, we went to Folsom Lake. I caught one fish. Tim had been up before. I caught one fish in November on a Ned Rig, and that was it. Um, in October, I think we were at Berryessa again. Yeah, we were at Berryessa. We did some spooning, and we had one school and, and had a couple of fish on caught one, had another one right to the boat, and then it was just over. It was a very small pot of fish. Caught a couple other bass, shallow. Um, Tim was drop shotting again, I was spooning. 
Uh, we saw some bait fish swimming in the shallows and some very small bass going after them, but nothing there. And then in September, I don't remember where we went. <laughs> so there you go. So that takes us to December. Um, Tim's got a bad back, so he's not going to be able to go. Hopefully he'll get out later this month. I'm going to Lake Comanche. Uh, it's been rainy and kind of warm uh, in the high 50s during the day, maybe even 60 at night, maybe high 40. So it's been warm. We've had some rain. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to try and throw an Alabama rig tomorrow and then the usual finesse things and probably some spooning. Um, so we'll see. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. Marking some fish under the boat here. Kind of went past them a little bit. See if I can pitch out there a little bit. A couple nice marks down there at about 46 feet. Right off a point here. And the geese are still here. Might have been an eagle that flew in by them, that's why they're all squawking. There's fish. Got him. Oh, first trip down with a spoon. Oh, December bass. First, first drop. On film. Right where the marks were. About 45 feet of water. Nice. Well, that was easy. First, first first lure of the day. Awesome. It's time for me to get some new equipment here. Sweet. Got a little Hopkins spoon, little little one pounder. He's he's got a sore on one side. He's bleeding. I don't know. Got to get him back in the water. Yes. Boom. Chakalaka. <laughs> Pressure's off now. Now it's all gravy. It's all gravy. All right. I gotta get back in. First drop down. So you can see in front of me there's this big flat point. We caught some fish here last winter that were up in about 20 feet and it drops really sharp on one side. It goes down to about 40. And that's where that, that fish was. Oh, there's another one. It might even be the fish I just caught, I don't know. That fish also was suspended right above the break. Well, who'd think in December I'd be catching fish on a crankbait, but there it is. I was trying out this new lure, this rock crawler. Thought it was a big one at first, he just was pulling really hard. He, he couldn't have been in more than six or eight feet of water, so I'm gonna work this point a little bit more. Yeah, this reel casts real nice. It's very smooth. There's fish. Another one on the rock crawler. Yeah. 
jump. Stay down, you little guy. Well, he's not that teeny. Oh, it's a spotted bass. They do know how to fight. Bam. To get up with the net, he just had that rear treble in, but... There we go. Not a bad fish, another spotted bass. Nice. December. Sweet. Cranking in December. Who would think that?